This year, Clark scholars were invited to Vanderbilt University in Nashville, Tennessee. As we're all missing a full day of classes, many of us were still finishing up homework on the way there, but upon arriving at our hotel and receiving our swag bags, the hardworking students were ready to have some fun. After grabbing lunch at Cava, the girls went shopping in downtown. Given plenty of free hours before our scheduled evening reception, we took a stroll into the Vanderbilt campus. Paired with such nice weather and foliage, Vanderbilt infrastructure seemed like it came out of a fantasy book. It was peaceful until the sounds of a crying cat. Why are you yelling? Because it's dying. <laughs> Speaking of dreams, I was in awe of the quality of our hotel. Inspired by famous country artist Dolly Parton, the unique sofa collection and hot pink patio were a bright contrast from the career fair fit we were told to change into for the evening social. While taking our group photo, it was clear everyone had different interpretations of dressy casual, added on to the fact that none of the students had any clue what to expect for the night. After a few welcoming speeches, icebreakers, and recreational activities, the much-awaited dinner buffet was open for business. With full stomachs, we went on a night walk to briefly check out the lively music city. The next morning, we were greeted by a full breakfast that would give us the energy to walk to the Student Life Center for the Leadership Q&A panel. But after another group photo, we moved to Featheringill Hall to begin the Mars Design Challenge. In randomly assigned teams of seven, our mission was to identify a task that can be optimized by autonomous technology for the small but growing new Martian civilization. My group decided on the Mars Maker, a system that would gather and process the natural resources on Mars in order to synthesize a special Mars concrete for 3D printing buildings. Lunch was served, and then we continued to work on the pitch and physical model. It was interesting to see what other groups were working on as well. Hello. Even though I might have fallen asleep for a good portion of it, the trolley door definitely held up to its height. Right here on the left is Studio Star's truck for this lady. After picking up some snacks, we learned some line dancing. Soon, the exercise made us hungry for the juicy steak and salmon we devoured for dinner. But can you believe this? We went to a bar on a school trip. The entire balcony was rented out to allow us to eat up the donut display, dessert treaters, and live music. The last day was short but sweet. The game show divided the students into five teams and tested our brains, bodies, and blessings. Five, four, three, two, one! Come on the ground! Come on the ground! Somehow I ended up on the winning team without lifting a finger and managed to snag a twenty dollar Visa gift card. Awards were also given out for the winning Mars Design Challenge teams. We enjoyed the final lunch that featured Nashville hot chicken before some of us took off to the Vanderbilt bookstore to use that extra cash on some pricey college merch. Finally, it was time to get back into the grind at the library's glove lounge, but Abby needed some kava while we watched our flight be pushed back hour after hour. Eventually, we made it to the airport where we waited in line for more of that addictive hot chicken and reflected on the whole experience. Okay. <laughs> <laughs>